The Unwilling Twin by Freya Blackwood. This is the story of Jules and her identical twin, George. Jules and George are the same in every way. It is quite impossible to tell them apart. They even have matching birthmarks on their bottoms. Like all twins, Jules and George do everything together. After they get up in the morning and do their yoga, they put on matching jumpsuits and eat a matching breakfast. Then they play all day and have hours and hours and hours of fun. Sometimes in summer, Jules and George go to the beach. They pack matching swimmers, sunglasses and hats. It's a hot drive to the beach and an even hotter walk. George isn't always a willing twin. There is so much for twins to do at the beach. They collect shells, watch seagulls, go snorkeling, and jump waves. George doesn't like waves. George likes sand. He sniffs, snuffles, and scratches until he's completely covered. Then he sleeps. He dreams he's lying in warm mud, being gently massaged. Jules likes sand castles. She shovels, scrapes, and smoothes until it's completely splendid. She imagines she lives in the tallest turret. George would live there too, of course. But where is George? George! Ah, there's George. When George wakes up, he's ready to play. But Jules isn't always a willing twin. Like all twins, Jules and George occasionally disagree. Of course, they don't stay mad at each other for long. After a day at the beach, Jules and George always get matching ice creams. George says Jules, there is only one thing that's different about us. Sometimes you're an absolute pig.